everybody, this is a follow-up to a previous lesson where I introduced the bass notes of the dominant seventh chords moving down in a perfect fifth motion. For example, we had... And then... And so on up through the 15 chords. So, uh, before we do this, for those of you who haven't played with both hands or have limited experience playing with both hands, I'd like you to just pick up your arms from your elbows. So this, this lever from the elbow to the tip of your fingers and get both of those doing that and then just drop them on your laps. So pick up, drop. And it's a completely free drop that you want to practice. Okay, because we're going to do this now when we play the tritone with the bass note in the left hand. So we're going to take the G7 chord, hold that for two beats, and then replace the right thumb with the left thumb on the G. The left thumb is going to resolve down five to the C. The right hand is going to isolate the G7 tritone BF and resolve it into the major third CE. And we're gonna do it with both hands though. So what I'd like to do is have two beats on the chord. One, two, Two, one, two, three, four. Once again, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, let's try G sharp seventh. Now this is the first time you're doing this with both hands and you might want to try the repetition exercise because each of these tritones are going to feel a little different and also you want to get both hands doing exactly the same thing where I'm just dropping from the wrist and then play it and then resolve up. Just let your two wrists float up. And that doesn't require a lot of finger action. This requires more finger action because you're coming down on the notes and the fingers are moving more. Now as I rise up on the notes, the weight of my hand is pretty much pushing down those notes. Okay? And then we can call this A flat seventh. Remember, A flat seventh going to D flat. So let's try that. Here we go. Three, four, one. And now we resolve to D flat major. Two, three, four. All right, let's go to A seventh now. And A seventh is going to resolve to D major. So we have three, four. Two, three, four, and up. Two. Let's try that again. Start on A seventh. Pick up both hands and resolve. And off. Next is B flat seventh going to E flat. So we have the B flat seventh chord. root and the tritone and resolve up two three again B flat seven replace and up you go two three let's try B seventh now replace and rise up two three four again B seven Good.
Notice how I finish. I tell students, do the dog. It's like, ha, 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 ha. The little dog is there with his paws like that. And this is total relaxation when you come off the piano. This is total relaxation. So when you go and attack the piano again, bang, come off relaxed, bang, come off, bang. Okay? All right, next up is C7 going to F. Here we go. Three, four. Replace. Go to F major. Two, three, and off. Pick up. Drop. Lift your wrist. All right, next is C sharp seventh going to F sharp major. Replace and rise up two, three, and again. And we'll do it one more time as D flat seventh going to G flat major. Here we go three, four, D flat seventh resolving to G flat major. We're on to D seventh. Let's try three, four. Up you go. Once again, two, three, four, one, two, three, and off. Let's go to E flat seventh. Replace. And up to A flat. Two, three, again. E flat seventh. Replace. Rise up with your wrists. Next is F seventh. Okay, replace. Going to B flat. Two, three, and again. F seventh. it. And last is F sharp 7th going to B or G flat 7th going to C flat. So let's call it F sharp 7th at this point going to B. Here we go. 3, 4. F sharp 7th, replace, You're going to B. Now let's call it G flat 7th, replace, going to C flat. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please hit subscribe if you're enjoying the lessons. time.